When we decided to record every day of our experience on the Appalachian Trail, we thought that we would only show the days walking because for the most part, all we do is work on zero days. But now and then when there's something to share, we'll share it. This happens to be one of those days. So we came in late last night, guys, and we didn't see any of this. This is unbelievable. Over here, there's actually a bathroom with a shower in it that you can use, which is so unbelievable. I mean, if we were, we're, we're getting off trail, so if we weren't getting off trail for school, there's a shower, then, and work, then we would definitely be in there. Look at this. Had, had no idea we were this close to the water last night. Drinking water? A trash can. Oh my gosh. And then up here are all the tent sites. And so the tent sites have these cement slabs, which are, I would not say particularly ideal in the sense that putting your tent in, because unless your tent fits exactly on this, see where the, the, um, the dirt is unless your tent fits that you kind of have to do some sort of a makeshift thing this is the view from halfway and so we've got slabs here trash slabs hey largo was mr tent genius over here last night because as i was pointing out earlier these little spots that have the dirt in them they don't really they're not set for our size tent and so he had to kind of <laughs> hang it off the side and then right down here is all kinds of water in the bottom of our tent but the tent stayed in one place last night and i'm happy and i think you did a great job how do it you works. feel about it it works. it works right and you did it in the dark so with red light <laughs> with your red light so i think tonight no that we're gonna get off for two days so once you get on next time i'm gonna blindfold you, you gotta do it blindfolded great idea can you do it and then you come down here, and this is the shelter. And they call it the Fontana Hilton. <laughs> so it's apparently the nicest shelter on the trail. What we didn't see when we came in last night was this amazing view. Is this the shelter with the best view? <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. Wow, it's gorgeous. And there's just all these picnic tables and a spot to charge your equipment. I'm bummed we only got one night here. So just chatted with our Friends, the ladies I kept calling Dutch, who were actually German. Um, we keep now we're starting to circle back with the with the same people. Uh oh, here comes the rain. I got to get up there and help Largo with the tent. So this is what it looks like when you're taking the tent down, and it's pouring. <laughs> I mean, it's not ideal. Um, I'd rather hike in really cold weather and take down and put up in really cold weather because you're moving. When you get when you get in the rain, everything gets wet but it's part for the course and it happens, you know? So yeah, so this is really a, this is a real hiking tent now. <laughs> See all that water down there. Largo went to take a break in the shelter for a little bit and I'm gonna kind of patch all this up since I have my raincoat on, he doesn't have his on yet. And there's the bag hiding. I will give you guys a full tour of this place, but to start out, it's, it's so cute. We get to wear scrubs as our clothing while our laundry is being done, which I love. And she brought us a platter of fruit. I, I've been dreaming about fruit. I'm so happy. We are staying in such amazing places with amazing humans. I can't, I'm like beside myself how lucky we are. So I really need to get a lot better at filming these rooms before we actually get in and unload, but we've got a double bed here. 
And then I love that there's all kinds of places to hang up our stuff to dry. We've got coffee and hot chocolate and tea section over here. And then there's Largo's bed, although I told me he could have the big bed tonight. And so over here, there's a heater that works really well. And then a refrigerator and a microwave and a laundry basket. So she will, if you put the laundry outside the door, she will come and grab your laundry for you and do it, which I think is really, really sweet. And then in there where Largo is currently occupying some time is a shower and a bathtub, which sounds wonderful. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> okay. You have something between your teeth. I was wondering why you were staring at me. Will you take it out? Funny. <laughs> All right, guys, we are dirty, nasty zeroers right now, hanging out in a room doing school and work, and we just wanted to pop in and say hi. And we're gonna not going to vlog this just because we have so much to do. We will do a thorough vlog on one of our zero days because there's so much that happens and there's so much value in it. But we would wanted to pop in and show you our scrubs also. But Laura we are. And I, we, we are now hospital workers. We, we, yes, on our days off, we go to the ER and we pass out candy. Now, course. we're staying at this at the, this place we're staying at right now. Um, gives you scrubs to change into uh, and, and hang out in. So we've been hanging out in them since yesterday. So I feel it like fabulous. it's a good system, too. I love it. I was saying to her that she needs a stethoscope with a logo on it or the logo here. And she was like, oh, gosh, no. Anyway, I got a couple of really nice... We were at, we were out of a couple of... Um, oh, my God. What are those things called for the tent? The... Spikes? Spikes. We need spikes? Spikes. We needed a couple spikes. spikes and there were tent spikes here. She gave me a couple of those in the hiker box, which was fabulous. We've been eating like lots of fruits, lots of veggies, um, restocking. We had to wash the tent because it was full of crud. And we're gonna take another we're gonna take tomorrow we're back on the trail. Um and uh, we'll have a full report then, guys. See you then.